Sheriffs, sheriffs, everyone who has, sheriffs, sheriffs, cl just clear the room. We will not have any more of it. Um, yeah, as a re resident of Indianapolis, I, I um, am encouraged by federal funds being used for uh, things like libraries and schools. I am not encouraged uh, by federal funds used uh, for things like um, genocide in uh, far off countries. Uh, things like bombing. Point of order. Um, bombing children. Point of order, Point of Mr. order Mr. Chairman. We, this is not germane to our Sir. conversation right Sir. now. Sir. I would ask to turn the microphone Sir, off please. and have him leave. <laughs> All right. I would ask Sheriff. to be escorted out of the chamber. Uh, Mr. Sheriff, anyone who is making noise at this point in time, please have them removed now. Now, I urge everyone here to, uh, to sir, please, sir, please stay on point. A, uh, I, I urge that we escort this gentleman out of the room, please. Okay, we've heard enough. This is what you wanted, right? Finding resolution in power sign, non binding resolution. For a ceasefire in power. It's public comments, free speech. This is called. For, well, you have a lawyer right here who can confirm that, right? It's violation of free speech. You want to take a seat, please? What side of history are you guys on? Why are you talking about What side of history are you guys they on? They protect genocide. It's a non-binding resolution. It costs you nothing to stand against genocide. It costs you nothing. Which side are you on? Stop pushing my chair. You're going to break it if you push it. You're going to break his chair. Get your hands off his wheelchair. Ma'am, will you be quiet? You be quiet. No. Are there additional comments from counselors? If not, let us proceed to the board for our vote. President Elsley, if I may. Um, um, former Councillor Evans, this, had, this will need to be specifically on the proposal at hand or we will shut down the microphone and we will go to a vote. Can it be germane on public comments themselves? Sir, it will be specific to proposal number 209. Okay, proposal 209 on the public funding of the Municipal County Public Library, correct? Uh, $6.3 million in the bond funding? 6.35. Okay, yes. Uh, see, I read. I read. <laughs> Uh, I am in favor of funding our public county libraries, and they are a very valuable source of public information for which you can find information in books on ceasefires and genocides where point of order, point of order. In this county, point of order, point of in order. The county library, in the please county library, in the county library. Former Councilor and Evans. Please have the Councilor escorted out. No, no, no. Uh, former Councilor Evans. Former Councilor. Former Councilor Evans. You either stick to the point. I was here in 2020 through 2024, as you know, and in 2020, we went through an unprecedented pandemic in COVID-19. And at the time, we changed the rules on comments in a way that this council had never done before to allow council online Evans, comments. Is this related to 209? I think you're running out it's of, out of, it's out of related time. to the comments themselves. It's related to the rules. Sir, it's 209, or we're done. Okay. I guess I'm done. That's all I have to say. Um, Joe must go. Thank you. Uh, I also have a public comment to make. Uh, my name is Eli Mori. I'm an organizer with Answer Indiana, which stands for Act Now to Stop War and End Racism. And I. Point of order. 
I take issue with uh, the fact that we're not being allowed to talk about this when all Sir, questions I'm related to the budget are relevant because we're sending $12.8 million dollars in aid to Israel every year. Oh. Oh. Making this city better, making the county better. Fuck, why are more people right attacking people in jail? Right 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 everyone who is in this room right now, if you're going to comment on the post of the line, you will talk on the line. If you are going to talk about something else, don't bother yourself to come to this microphone. All, quest all questions related to the budget or anything that we're spending money on are relevant because we're sending to 12.8 million. That part. That part. That part. That part. Yes. now. I'm also not being given my whole two minutes, so if I'm going to understand why. I'm going to give a brief reason. I'm going to be perfect. No, I think if he, if he wishes to continue for the, for the balance of his time on 209, otherwise, sir, I don't understand how it's not germane to the topic when we're spending $12.8 million on aid to Israel every year and we're not investing that in our libraries, in our schools, in our health care system. Sheriffs, sheriffs, everyone who has sheriffs, sheriffs. Cl just clear the room. If you have a sign and a screaming, clear the room. Anyone, order, Mr. Chair. anyone who has been seen screaming, just clear the room. We will not have any more of it. Time to remove them. Sheriff, Sheriff, clear the room. Insurrection. A library budget as the former library board member. So my name is Stephen Lane. I used to represent the Indianapolis Public Library. It was a privilege to serve as the only librarian on the board. Thank you. We really, uh, thank you. I was uh, unceremoniously kicked off of the board thanks to this council's pick for president, Hope Tribble. Um, so, you know. Is this related you, to 209? Oh, absolutely, because you didn't do anything to remove Hope Tribble when the public asked you to, so it's no wonder that you won't pass a ceasefire resolution for the people. You don't serve the people, you don't serve Point our of interests, order. you only serve your narrow interests, and so we don't need you. Let's proceed to the vote. <coughs> I don't need the mic because I think my voice is hot, loud enough. Good afternoon. My name is Robert. Wasn't he escorted out already? No. 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 Why not? <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, y'all can't even tell. Like, whatever. <laughs> Go ahead. You know what? If we're going to talk about the library, if we're going to talk about public funds, and stop funding genocide, stop giving. All right, money now we can escort him out. Stop funding genocide! Okay. I said police officer, put your hands on me. Do not put your hands on me. Sir, you need to go. Do Time not to leave. Do not go. I just said you're I just had police. You're out of order. Point of order, Mr. Chair. You need to go. You back. You need to go. Point of order, Mr. Chair. You don't get to touch me. All right, then you need to go. You need to go. I I have a right here. Councilor, you have a comment you want to make? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. President, under the First Amendment. The council may not restrict public comments on the basis of their content. It's not up to us to decide whether or not something is relevant. Then we'll have to take that to OCC or to the courts. You will not disrupt a meeting in this room. Do I not have permission to speak? You will not. No one will disrupt a meeting in this room. This is undemocratic! Mr. President, Council Perkins, can we call the, can we call the order of the day, please? Sirs. Mr. President, can we please take a rest recess, Mr. President, Would you like to? and call for a recess? 
Second. Members, if you would like to take a, um, a five-minute recess, please. Thank you. Let us do so. I want to acknowledge that I myself fell short in two important respects. First, I regret that the two women who spoke up about this did not feel heard for far too long. We heard. While it is every single person who serves this community will know their rights, their protections, their reporting obligations, and what to do if they are one day victimized by this unacceptable behavior. Mayor, no. There's going to be one person speaking in this room at any given time. Another interruption, and you will be removed. Mr. Mayor, please continue. But a workplace. Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Fire 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 now!